Okay, hey, it's Max Wetstein with MaxWetsteinFitness.com. I'm holding a uh, little impromptu body composition lab right now in my master bathroom. What brought this on was I posted on Facebook and Twitter that I would take you guys to a hydrostatic lab to get my body fat percentage tested in one of the most accurate methods there is. However, I just realized my appointment is for tomorrow. But I didn't want to leave anybody hanging. I have some people on Facebook wagering about what my actual percentage is right now on any given day. I have not prepped for this. And right here in my own home, I have a body composition uh, scale. It uses uh, bioelectric impedance. It sends an electric current, obviously a mild one, uh, through your feet, through your through your body and back out through your other foot. And so we um, all know that that's not quite as accurate or, or precise as calipers or um, or hydrostatic methods, but I'm just in the mood to uh, go ahead and get a baseline done here and then we can compare the two. Now the whole point of this was just so you guys can see different ways on how to test for body composition, your lean overall lean body mass, body fat percentage, whatever you want to call it. Not so much what Max Wettstein's body fat percentage is on Monday, February 22nd. Although that's kind of going to be interesting too because there are some people on there posting what they uh, think it might be. Uh, Obi Obadike, who I totally respect his opinion, is claiming that based on some recent videos, I am at, uh, I think, 6.5%. So remember, the, the, the fat you can see right underneath the skin that most people are concerned about for muscle definition is the subcutaneous adipose tissue. And actually, that's the healthiest kind of, that's the healthiest way to carry your body fat. The dangerous kind is the internal visceral, visceral belly fat inside here around your organs. That's that gives you the apple shape and a, and a bigger circumference around your waist. That's the most dangerous kind. You can't really see that in the mirror. You can see it with a bulging belly, but some people are lean under their skin and have that bulging belly. That's called, you know, being uh, skinny fat. Okay, so this little home unit costs about 100 bucks. With it, you can go ahead and, you know, you enter things like your age. Six feet tall, zero inches. I put myself as a four out of five when it comes to exercise, exercise level and athletic level because, you know, age, uh, male. I put I have an athletic build as opposed to a normal build. Okay, so now we gotta just, you get the soles of your feet damp for current. And let uh, me step on. Okay, I gotta let go of the camera. Okay, I had to let go of the camera because it was throwing the scale off, but there it is. Uh, body fat 5.7% using bio impedance. 174 pounds was my weight. Okay, so let's do it one more time. I'll do this three times and then average out. I'll average out the uh, three results because that's what you do in a lab with your data. So let's do it again. So I gotta set the camera down when I'm actually on the scale because it'll, otherwise it'll throw the weight off. So here we go. Got the Bottom of my feet damp, stepping on. 175 pounds this morning on a random Monday. All right, look at that. 4%. Obviously that's not that uh, accurate. So anyway, yeah, you know, when you, when you do this all the time as a fitness professional, when you're always trying to get lean, you get really good at, you know, looking in the mirror and gauging where you stand. Um, I know for a fact when I can, you know, start to see and hear some definition and, and, and start to get the uh, little bit beginnings of an eight pack this last row, I know I'm definitely under 8%. And I've also noticed that my Bowflex brand body composition scale that uses bio impedance is not that accurate. And then tomorrow morning, I'm doing my hydrostatic test, and that's gonna be really interesting where you go underwater, exhale all your air, because this thing, you can throw it off just by drinking a glass of water. So 